we're gonna create a web service using soap palette and test using soap ui after the visual has been created now we will create the message and the port type as you know what will be in the message the one would be keeping for input another would be keeping for the output and uh, as you can see in the screen uh, messages are being created right now as this video goes on i'm gonna keep on explaining what i'm doing So as you can see this is in real time so some glitches might come up so we gonna take two numbers and perform their addition if plus sign is there that is my main motto that's it so we're gonna be needing two numbers for that so in input message we have this two numbers and one sign make sure the numbers are in int because the default will be string the sign would be string and in the output one it will be one output that will be obviously the addition of two numbers that will be again int we'll have one operation that is the addition now in that operation we have to specify the input and the output Select it from here. We can also create this using schema, but uh, that I will not do now. Let's keep things simple first. So we have got the input output, we will not introduce any fault message or anything like that. We got to Wisdel by right clicking and Wisdel create Wisdel. That is how we got to Wisdel. So after that we are going to create a connection HTTP connection for the web service to use because this will be soap over HTTP and we have created one process definition let's name it soap server now soap event source which is the starting mechanism after the starting mechanism we gonna have uh, soap reply okay okay not uh, request reply by mistake i have given that just let me remove it after some time now uh, in soap event source we have to configure the whistle which we have just created remember this whistle doesn't have the transport in it this whistle doesn't have transport in it but in the client side in the client whistle we will have the transport you can see the whistle has come up and uh, it will be having the transport transport means http over here we cannot do anything because we need the reply uh, what the server gonna reply to the client so we're gonna remove this now yes that's more like it and here we will specify what the operation will do what the output will be 
that's what we are going to specify so if you see over here i'll be in the xpath operation i'll be collecting the two number digits two number digit we will be doing and the plus sign and the plus sign will be there yeah so we're gonna be doing it like that if it detects the plus sign then uh, normal addition it will do or else just print a random number because this is just for the sake of creating the web service i'm not going into too much details this is uh, pretty self-explanatory if you know a little bit of coding. So after this, I'm just uh, taking the Wisdel source which already has transport in it because the SOAP UI gonna use this Wisdel to hit the server so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this and create a client Wisdel remember the previous Wisdel was a server Wisdel now we gonna create a client Wisdel and name it client we're gonna go to the overview and over in the overview we're gonna taste the whole thing after that we we'll go to soap ui create new project and just give a name of the project anything after that we will have to locate the client whistle okay, this is very important folks just remember this will be the client whistle or else it cannot recognize the path because there will be no transport in the server whistle after this has been done just let me select the whistle yes after this has been done this request will come now I will switch on the server of mine the server will continuously pull for any hits coming towards it I will be hitting it with uh, the soap UI there is another method of doing this that I will explain in the later video see I have started my service but it has not got any hit as of now Now I can change the values like the number two numbers which I want and the sign over there. Let me give it plus sign for the first time. And see, I've got the reply and the uh, resultant of the addition. Now, if you see, if if the user gives any other sign rather than a plus sign, then something else will be displayed. So let me just change the sign and then hit the server again. see and the web service has been called and uh, the uh, else part has been executed that is 111 that's it folks for the next video uh, if anything any doubt is there be there in the comments